Welcome to the 25th anniversary of the Tech Challenge. 25 years of an amazing challenge, so congratulations. There's no other challenge like this. For anything to last 25 years in Silicon Valley is a testament to the quality that it has. It's inspirational. And the challenge is you need to rescue a survivor that's on a part of a bridge and the rest is broken. Because there was an earthquake and you need to create some type of contraption to rescue them off a bridge. The guy only lives once, so we have to get him. We have to save him. I feel like you could use this in a real life situation. We think we'll do pretty well. Enough to be as good as a sixth grader, even though we're fifth graders. This year's challenge is definitely a lot more difficult than last year's. This is our third year. This is actually my fifth year. I learn new things every year. This year's by far the biggest scale. I mean, we've had space trash and then ocean trash, and now we're rescuing a guy, so. Just because a team was good one year doesn't mean they're going to be good the next. They have to reinvent themselves, just like a company would. What's really interesting is seeing the range of solutions that people are coming up with. There's multiple ways to tackle the same challenge. For example, ours is a rope climber design. You see people who are doing everything from cable crawlers and various vehicles to some very simple and elegant solutions. I think everyone has done a really good job, put a lot of effort in, and this competition is going to be really hard and really close. And Good luck to all the teams that are competing this year. It's a common misconception that math and science are the only things which contribute to engineering. I mean, teamwork is also a great part, and of course, creativity. Creativity is what technology is really all about. I think any opportunity you can give any student is going to make them successful. It's just the experience and being here. You come to the tech challenge and it doesn't always work and it's hard. Didn't the person actually lose their head? Yeah. You know what grit is? Grit is when you stick with things. We had a lot of failures and challenges along the way. And the only thing that gets in the way of grit is you. So we tried to half do some things, but we learned you have to do it all the way. I told my team, I think I'm going to have to drop out. I don't think I can do it this year. It's going to be really hard. We did not think this was going to work. And they basically told me, like, no, you're not dropping out. We're going to help you through this. A lot of times the things that are hard to do are the best for you. Thinking beyond what you thought you could do. Well, of course we're having fun, but it's hard work. And once we get that win, it's, it's really satisfying and it it's like work paid off. It's that inspiration, the thing that makes people want to learn, that's the basis of the Tech Challenge and the Tech Museum. There's no shortage of people out there to make advancements in science. In simplest terms, it's real life experience. Very few things actually help you draw from within and use your own inspiration, but the Tech Challenge does that, and I think kids surprise themselves. Think of the impossible thing. What if? Take ideas off the paper and build something. Thank you to the advisors. Thank you to the students for your dedication, your loyalty. Thank you to the volunteers that are here. You are amazing. Your brains are so big. Keep at it and come back again next year. I've changed my view of myself. It's an amazing opportunity and everyone should be able to participate.